How are you affiliated with the Arts on 3rd? I coordinate this great event. So you're the one that's responsible for this festivities we got going on today. You know what? Nobody could pull this off by themselves. I have a great team of volunteers and staff that worked with me. Um, Mayor Davis, it's, it's just nothing that you could pull off anything this great alone. We're very proud of this. So to see it end up like this, is this something that you and your crew are extremely proud of? Oh, absolutely. This is our ninth year, and every year it gets better and better, and I think we just topped ourselves this year uh, with all the artists and, as you can see, the unusual contest of all the cheese eating and the vendors, and everybody's just having a good time. Now, how much time does it take to put on such an event? Oh wow, we start in March and we work tirelessly both night and day. You have volunteers that come out and they, they come out, they don't ask for anything but to be a part of the community. Just a wonderful event. Uh, it's, it's like a marriage between the community and the artists. It does seem like something that the whole community does get involved in and love to be out here at, 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 at this festivity. Oh, yeah. It's thrilling. It's exciting. Uh, some people even take their vacations because they know they're going to see old friends and families. Family reunion time. It's just a wonderful time for the community.
that's just the best <laughs> So dude, Melvin, I got mad love for y'all. Shout out to my, my mom's here over there. My step pops right here. We got a booth over there, and I'm saying y'all can go get whatever y'all want. Oh man, I am uh, so very proud of, of, of the Arts on 3rd, and, and not just the Arts on 3rd, but of Mount Vernon itself. Uh, I was born and raised here in Mount Vernon. Uh, everywhere I go, I talk about Mount Vernon. Uh, I am so impressed and proud of what the mayor, uh, Ernie Davis, is doing here in, in Mount Vernon, what the plans are in the future. I've talked to him. He's been down to our place at the Apollo Theater on several occasions, and I'm just, uh, I'm walking around here with my wife, showing her where I grew up, the streets that I walked down as a child, as uh, things that I've gone through coming up, all the, the uh, things that I had to endure uh, as a young man here in Mount Vernon, uh, living in poverty, uh, being in forced to care, and things of that nature, but able to rise above it and do very well in life. And uh, you know, I owe it to these four square miles. Uh, they, they, a lot of wonderful people have come out of this town. Uh, most people don't know about Mount Vernon and, and the, the history and the culture that exists here in this town. I, I am just so very proud, brother. You have no idea. This will be our first mini Apollo at the, uh, uh, the Arts on Third program, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to host it. Uh, we also brought along Mr. Uh, C.P. Lacey, whose uh, job is to chase people off the stage on the Amateur Night Show. His title now is called The Executioner. That title also belongs to Howard Sandman Sims, and we're going to get some people on the stage out there. We're going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be some prizes given to them, and I have some surprises for the whole Malvern community later on.